I saw it. First time recently. We've seen it a long, long time ago. We actually used to run it back like ages ago. Ah, the real doctor. Okay, I think it was a couple. A couple teams ran it though. I saw like we saw a Chinese team run it once or twice, like four or five years ago, and that's where we got it from originally. Oh, okay. And we just liked having it versus Tinker. That was kind of like the big thing for it. But. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. That's like dating back ages, centuries ago. Centuries ago. Centuries. centuries. <laughs> how well how May old are well you? May as well be centuries ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do we see here? It's a TA band now out of Virtus Pro. Oh, interesting. TA particularly good against Sand King. I thought the Sand messed up her refraction shield real nice. Well, it kind of does. That's true. <laughs> I just want to say something smart once. Just one time. Is that so hard? Sandstorm well, is annoying for refraction. But thank you. Yeah, there you go. I got you. <laughs> Surely that's why. That's wow, that actually, you kind of looked like Waga for a second. At first glance. All right, now you're just creeping me out. <laughs> 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 the blank stare. <laughs> All right, Navi dipping into the reserve time here, thinking about this third ban. This is a, a tough spot with both teams with uh, can, this, these open-ended picks. Tough to lock down. It looks like an Ursa going to be third ban now. So Ursa. VP banning the TA. Maybe they do want to take the Shadow Fiend. Shadow For Fiend themselves. themselves. Yeah, they could do. Good old Donda. Yeah. That could work. So the point is, is that if you're on the bottom of the ocean, the ocean can evaporate eventually. And the, then, the ocean's never going to evaporate. Well, what are you I about? mean, the, the yeah, tectonic what? plates change, well, guys. The, 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 well, that has you nothing to do with the ocean, ocean evaporating. There is. <laughs> you're just saying wrong, random either. geological phenomena and mountains form, and then the ocean's gone. Well, I'm just saying that <laughs> if you want to escape quicker, you do the ocean, not space. Well, what do you Was... do when the ocean evaporates? Here you go, Slacks. It's space. Is... Well, what's the next step? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Are you, you still escape, chained to you just escape the ocean? But you're then you're just chained to a rock. Well, How is that any you, better? Why don't you just walk out the ocean anyway? Well, you're chained to the rock on the bottom. Well, you pick up the rock. Well, you can't do that if you're underwater, you dummy. Yeah, it floats. <laughs> this was your is that question. <laughs> this was this was the question. Oh, no. Why I gave him the gun? Oh. It, it was. Would you rather be stuck on the bottom of the ocean or float in space if you were immortal? Rax. I'll take both of those over been asked these questions. <laughs> well, Owen, this is what jail's like, so you better get used to it. Yeah. This is this is the kind of torture you have to put up jail with. Jail is just a bunch of uh, philosophical questions. Maybe some kind questions. of NA jail. I mean, you know. Troll oh, warlord. Troll. Hey. 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 Life wow, we got, we got a lot of these heroes, right, that the people are going to be picking up. Yeah, and uh, the Terror Blade's also been taken out now by mm -hmm. BP. And we got the Troll. He should be down there somewhere. That's a, yeah, troll there warlord, is a good it. hero. All right. And oh, still, still a little bit open-ended. I mean, we've seen mostly safe lane troll, but... It's ran mid. Yeah. Thrown, him, thrown him mid, yeah. yeah. Mao's played it mid yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seen it a couple I don't times. Know, I don't know if no one really takes it mid. I don't know if I've seen that, but we did see it out of Mao's. That's right. Yeah. He played, played it mid in the uh, game earlier today. Yep. Oh. Yep. Okay. And then we saw in what uh, Kiev, even OG, ran it mid. That's true. Yeah, very, very Lots true. of situations where, the, I mean, the hero can go in either role. It's a flexible hero. Just strong laner. All right, Navi, what will it be? Navi. Oh, <laughs> dipping down into reserves already. Yeah, less than a Virtus minute. Pro's down to 14 seconds. 14 this is seconds. Very thoughtful about this draft. Very, uh, what's the word you used to say, Fogged? Pensive. Optimistic. A very optimistic that doesn't time have anything to do usage with this. here. All right, there. That's okay. That's, 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 right. that's what uh, Dakota would call a swing and a miss. There, oh, Slacks. Hey, you guys are all full of jokes today, aren't you? A bunch of funny you, you've boys. You've been rubbing off on us. You Real know? funny lads we got here today. Navi, can we can we do our pick, please? Let's do it. Let's do it, Dendi. Come on, Pycat. Come on, Sanakio. Who uh, who actually is drafting for Let's Navi go, these Beaver. days? Somebody who's taking their sweet time. <laughs> Any predictions? Warlock? Z band? He is not. I throw his ass in there. Yeah, yeah, sure. could, be, there could be a warlock. Yeah, 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 yeah throw his yeah. ass in there. Let's go, warlock, you yeah. librarian bastard. Pie 13 cat, seconds, boys. Pie cat's the 10, 9. And they're actually using eight. a lot of their time. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's uh, a jug. jug. Standard jug. Settle Standard on a jug. Nice, sustainable, safe laner there. Is it the Sand King that's got all these questions? I mean, Rubik and uh, Troll, he's in every game. What's, what's with the problem here? Why are they taking so long? I mean, that's got to be part of it. The it's got to be the same. The, the flex pick does 
You know, you got to be a little careful, Slags. You don't want to draft yourself into a corner. That's right. You got to be careful against sentient sand. Brax, Sand King is made out of sentient sand. Sand that thinks and feels and loves. I don't believe you. It's true. Sentient sand. Brax, he is the master of lore. I mean, oh my god. Oh. Omni Knight. Whoa. With it, eight it, seconds remaining. You said you wanted to see Omni Knight, didn't you? I did want to see that. Omni Knight. Not in this scenario, though. Why not? Well, what's, that, wrong, what's wrong with this? He's actually uh, perfect. He's very good versus this. Oh, right? Right? Repel yeah. with amazing. Repel troll like sounds you, horrifying. Give Heal. troll a free BKB. Oh, Woo. shoot. He's broken. I think he'll take that. There we go. We're almost in. Go down the reserve tunnel and see the random. Come on, baby. So, repel troll, guardian angel, also very good versus jug. Yep. Can be great. Oh, here we go. Seven, six, Whoa. five, four. What are they doing? What are they doing? Oh my god! Oh, oh one second. The oh, troll oh. sniper. Oh I, my oh. goodness, they have one second. I'm, I'm gonna say you don't think there's a chance they switch around because Pie Cat is a he is the he's the OG sniper. He is the sniper king. He is the sniper king. I wonder if he says, Dendy, you're playing some, you know, easy carry, you play jug. I'm going mid on that. He probably doesn't, but I'd, Pie Cat sniper is that's the th can I try the Dendi snap? I don't, I don't feel I've seen much Dendi snap. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a, a combo that I've seen before. My God, yeah. think about it. You know, these are. Could it be the safe lane sniper? I'm sure it wouldn't. That sounds. Or sure oh, maybe hey, is the safe lane sniper Three, the counter to two, the offlane Omni? One. No. So no. There, there's <laughs> the one. It's the troll lock. counter. Yeah. It's the troll counter. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We are down to one second each for both teams. Yeah. Oh. We're out of time. No, Navi still has 20. Don't worry. All right, there we go. All right, what we got? Come on. So Navi still need what they're they on. Offlane or secondary support, depending yep. where they want to put the clock. Uh, and uh, Night nice Stalker. Nice Stalker. Okay. Night Stalker. Okay. Saw this hero own earlier today in Starlighter. Oh, a little vision. Sniper can sit in the there back line. Hmm. Oh, cool thing too. Now remember, Rubik can now steal Hunter in the night. Oh. Interesting. Oh. oh. It's and it, it's okay. pretty funny looking. <laughs> Come on, baby. And it's a and storm, storm spear oh, headed to yeah. the mid lane. So, oh, yeah. That's a nice CP uh, draft right there. That is hype. So how do we see these lanes set out? So it's going to be the off lane uh, Omni or off lane Sand King? It's, it's the pasture Omni, so it'll be Omni off lane. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Sand King support. Yeah, Little time Sand, Sand King support. Yeah. Storm goes mid. All right. Well, a very interesting draft. Uh, moving into our halfway point, Navi VP. They have switched it up, and we're seeing a lot of heroes that uh, we've seen previously ignored. I'm pumped. What are you thinking, Slax? Who's got this? Oh, VP. Are you kidding me? And then Omni pick with a storm and uh, a whatever the hell, the troll. Yep. He's up in their face at all time, and he's so good against clockwork. He just turns it right around on him. So, VP. All right. Fogged, what do we got? I really like VP's draft, yeah. Repelled Storm is very good they also have the sanking which i think is also just a really good four hero i like their approach much better in this uh game than their last series okay um yeah i'm not going to be the contrarian I, I gotta agree with you guys it's, it's a damn good omni pick i'm not sure how this uh this sniper is going to fare, but we will see. Game number one navi versus virtus pro still a lot of dota 2 to come and it continues here Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back for another series here at Dream League. I'm Odie Pixel. I'm going to be joined by Brax for this one. We've got the wonderful Virtus Pro once again, but this time up against Na'Vi. We've just seen the two lineups, Brax. What are we reckoning? Yeah, the snipers coming through for Dondo. The response there with the Storm Spirit. What's the plan? What's, what's the what, what, what are we going to have going on? That looks like one tough uh, sniper game. Okay. You've got the Repel Storm Spirit along with the Sand King to jump them too. I don't know about that one. It's going to be tough to see if he can survive. We'll see how he does as uh, we get ourselves into this one. It's, it is going to be exciting, of course. VP, they've got to cool off. They had a bit of a rough ending to the last game of the last series against Secret. They're going to come into this one with a, with a clean head and such. And uh, indeed, so Na'Vi, what we got, it is going to be Suneko uh, playing the support silencer, roaming around. Uh, silencer, what the heck am I on about? Support clockwork, it's right in front of me. A clockwork and uh, General playing the, um, the position three Night Stalker. So he's got the poor man shield on the support clockworks oh, now. Yeah. So it looks like he really wants to focus in on the laning phase to try to get Night Stalker or something. But Night Stalker has a, he only built one Tango so okay. far. So he's kind of deciding if he wants to go for the Iron Talon or not. Tango naked Midas. Let's yeah. go. And the noise is coming out from VP. 
And uh, we'll see what sort of lane matchups they do get. At the moment, Pasha is down there on the bottom lane. Looking to maybe see if he can get away with stealing this bounty route. I mean, I guess with a, a repel plan and such, you can certainly try for it. Uh, Na'Vi actually seeming to, to maybe make some movements in response to this. They've already sent the majority of their heroes up towards the top. And uh, the indication has been drawn to sweep up to that top bounty room to contest it. Yeah, they definitely want to try to contest yeah. this bounty room if possible. They have the heroes for it. And it looks like uh, General's in the safe lane here. And they're going yeah, with the aggro. Yeah, they're, they're doing some sort of aggressive as such. We'll see what happens here. I mean, Snake Oak with the cog pushback. He's going to head up. Who's going to grab that rune? It will be VP at the end of the day, securing three of them. Can Navi get kills out of this, though? Lil has the bro stroke away. They've got the slowdown onto Solo, but it doesn't look like it's enough. Able to walk it off to, despite Navi's best efforts, Virtus Pro claimed three of the bounty runes. Yeah, and now Clockwork has cogs. It's not the worst level one spell, but yeah. uh, usually we see the battery assault for that kill potential. But of course, it is a Sand King and a Rubik, so the kill potential might not be there anyways. But I don't know what he can really do with the level one besides kind of just zone. Got kind of like a passive lane that doesn't really have a whole lot of kill potential early on, but they're strong at leaning. I mean, yeah, what's the plan with Na'Vi running this aggressive? Is he just uh, trying to, to make sure this troll doesn't get a, a good start at all? Yeah, I, yeah, we saw it in the last series with the Sven, right? Yeah. They want to try to do whatever they can to stop him from having such a free early game. And that's definitely one way to do it with the aggro. Yeah, Ramsey's of course having solo at the moment with him on the Rubik, but uh, you know, as we've mentioned before, not necessarily the strongest of, of lane supports early on. Yeah. Bill is also around, but again, early levels on a Sand King. Enough for a stun that's a, hey, There's not a lot of stuff to help save Ramses. In fact, this dive there, as you can see, Ramses brought it down oh, very no, low. He's in trouble. If you dive that deep, though, there is going to be the chance for a turnaround, and they will. He comes in far too close. And uh, Ramses, Lil, and Solo able to bring him down. And Ramses gets first blood. And, well, there we have it. Well, that's yeah. Navi can't afford to make misplays like that. No, definitely not, especially with their lane setup. Omni Knight has a great 1v1 matchup against the Night Stalker, and they can't afford to be making any mistakes in their aggro lane at all. Yeah, Pasha with the Quelling Blade already, ready to, to not only find the XP, but as you say, yeah, just have a great time in that lane, get the CS as well. Again, Seneca just trying to use the cogs here to, to interfere with Ramsey's farming. And for the most part, it is working, but yeah, giving away that first person, something that they, they can't afford to give further kills away on this top lane. Yeah, Troll still at 3 CS, so, I mean, yeah. their lane is still doing what it's meant to be doing, so. Not the end of the world, and of course, Bounty Runes come out, Clockwork might move away from the lane a bit, and this is kind of the window where Troll, you know, he doesn't feel too pressured at all. No. Won't have that Clockwork sitting in his face. But uh, I'm really curious to see what'll happen down in this bottom lane, because Omni Knight, if he picks up items like Orb of Venom, he has an early boots right now, he can really start to pressure this Night Stalker quite a bit. And Night Stalker is not a hero that wants to sit down there the whole time. He's going to want to move when it turns night. And I feel like Navi will really try to move up their lanes okay. once that kind of happens. Yeah, you get some good rotations in and such. Try and break up this, this try lane that the VP have got going up here. Seneco, look over to see if he gets some sort of a wraparound on this. Right down the fire. Again, not necessarily setting up for kill potential, but just trying to, to slow down Ramses' farm. Keep away from that creep. Uh, that's We'll get it there on Pycat. And Pycat, of course, in this aggressive try lane. Uh, he himself, even though they're, they're kind of trying their best to keep control of it, it's not like he's racing ahead of the troll. Uh, they're even at the moment. In fact, now with this uh, stun into the slope, Iver falling very, very low here. Will be able to keep himself, himself alive just about with the stick charges. On the back, Na'Vi are closing in with the Blade Fury. They'll be the one to get the kill as they take down Troll. Lil will be able to chase down Piper and get the kill in return. So it's a one for one. And of course, Na'Vi killing off Ramses. That's the kill that they want for. And uh, they do get it. This is kind of where they're at an awkward spot, right? Juggernaut just used all his mana. There's no shrine available for quite some time. And now it's kind of like Ramses doesn't have to be so careful anymore. You know, even if he gets cogged, he's probably not going to die. So I really don't know how much more they can do in this lane. They slowed him down for the first couple minutes. Maybe that's good enough to where they decide, hey, we can move up our lanes. Or perhaps they'll just try to keep the lanes as long as possible and just keep farming the Night Stalker. But, I mean, as we can see, Pasha's top of the CS here, 23 on his Omni Knight. Yeah, this Omni Knight is going to be an issue. And as you, you know, you were saying, the, the Omni Knight is going to be so great in enabling, well, both, not just the, the troll, but definitely the Storm to have such a great game. And, uh, of course, the mid lane matchup, one that we're not really talking about too much, it's actually just being an even trade between the two of them. 
both heroes on 21 CS. Is this expected in this matchup? Is it, is it not normal for one of one of the heroes to break away? It's a pretty even matchup, yeah. I would have to say. And then once uh, Storm Spirit hits level 6, that's when it gets really dangerous for Sniper. Oh, top lane again. Lil going in with a, a very aggressive play there, trying to set up for the team, but they can't quite bring Na'Vi over the edge. And Na'Vi will take down the Sand King. So the other player's not quite playing off there for the Sand King at the moment up top. Bottom lane, General, feeling a little bit more confident to play around here. Does have the night time now. I mean, the question is, is there any way at this at this stage, General, about to level five, can can go for any sort of play across the map during this first night time? Do you, do you feel he needs to? I don't feel like he'll be the one leaving. I think, if anything, Clockwork will come to his lane okay. and perhaps try to go for a kill on the Omni Knight. But if Omni has a point in repel, he can just repel and TP out, and then nothing really happens there. So I think he's just going to farm for now. Yeah. No real reason to rotate off the lane yet. Yeah, Pasha very close to hitting that level six halfway through five at the moment. And yeah, just. Trademark of harass between the two of them. So this is where it's going to start to get a little tricky for Navi. They have a pretty good lane setup. Suneko's doing a lot of work on his clockwork. He has died once, but he is pressuring Ramses on his troll quite a bit. But uh, the mid lane is something that's going to be hard for him to deal with, right? Storm Spirit level six, tons of kill potential on the sniper, especially if anyone rotates in. And Navi don't exactly have the best heroes to kind of prevent that. Yeah, not much of it. Yeah, in terms of defense and capabilities for sure. Able to quickly CP and turn around stuff. But, uh, again, Snakeo just looking to secure that bounty route. And uh, rotation is coming in from no one. He's going to look towards Snakeo. And we'll get the chance to grab the bounty. But uh, between the Storm and the Sand King, they've got a good chance of this. They need to just slow him down uh, long enough to get that stunning range, which they do do so. And Snakeo tries for the cold to the escape. In fact, he may just He's make out. it. He is out. And the turnaround's there. Dendi's coming with the rotation. The setup for the assassinates there. Oh, it's the hasted sniper. Oh, they're going to get solo as well with this slow coming through from Viva. And as you say, just a perfect rune at a perfect time for Dendi to find and just crushes any sort of play that VP were trying to go for in their own jungle. And that's the Storm Spirit going down off the rotation there, too. That's awful for Storm. Top lane, they may get the uh, the dragon. Viva slows down. Have they got the damage? One more touch will do it. They do find it, but Pycat in return gets one kill. They've got the Telekinesis, the control, zip him from no one, and they do punish Pycat for the play. Well, no one committing so much, even TPing back up to the top lane to secure that one. Pretty heavy commitment there to their safe lane. Yeah, they really realize that they need to do something about this top lane, as, uh, yeah, as we're seeing. Yep, and this is uh, General's move up to the top lane. He's got one minute of nighttime left. Trying to make something happen here. The no storm's pretty low on the mana. He was sticking around to clean those camps up. Ramses as well is is uh, in, a, in a bit of a vulnerable position, and then he just slowed straight down by the void and the blade fury chased down. No one close by to help out. Not really that many of the supports could have done anything with the blade fury in action. And Soneko. Oh, he's gonna get cliffed. Oh, he is. Oh no. He has got a TP in five seconds. So okay. Could be worse. But uh, at the least, yeah, Rubik holding back the clock, making sure that Seneca doesn't get a solo kill out of that play. And bottom lane is Pasha continuing to have absolute free farm. Wyvers come down to soak up some of the XP on the Jakiro. Yeah, Omni Knight's typically not seen as a hero that pressures a whole lot, but when people rotate into his lane like this, the heal bomb on top Where's of any bash? sort of hero. Oh, no bash, no bash. You know, when he pairs up with heroes like Sand King with the heal bomb, it's tons of damage. Yeah. Can, he's uh, really hard to take down, especially at this part of the game. Now, do you like this from Dendi as well? The sniper build, the game brown boots, and uh, straight into the Shadow Blade as he's got queued up. Yeah, he's got that with double Wraith Band double Aquila Double Wraith Band Aquila, yeah. Yeah, he got those early stats, and he was actually uh, pulling out ahead of yeah. the Storm even before the rotations on the CS by quite a bit because of that build. Okay, yeah, so that, that, looks that nice. early game build certainly working out for him. Yeah, he's getting some pressure on Katara as well. Snake and Biver there to, to back him up. I guess you have all those stats. If you get the Shadow Blade and start to move around, it's, uh, yeah, for, for this stage of the game, the, the efficiency in terms of investment is certainly there. Yeah, and Dendi's farm is fantastic too. It's going to be such an early Shadow Blade. They just can't do anything. He's just shooting the tower. <laughs> what do they do? All right, if that storm comes anywhere near, there's going to be an instant reaction for Snake and Biver. They'll put the night time as well just to put even more chills down the spine of Virtus Pro. Yeah, General's there with a the wraparound. Pasha has come in to try and hold this. This was hard to defend though. Yeah. 
VP have got to be so careful how close they get to this one. Lil has to come in with a very nice wraparound, though. This could set something up. Comes in from below. Snakeo pops the cogs. They'll be the, the uh, stun onto one of them as they look towards Dandy. And yeah, perfect uh, prioritization there. Just take the sniper out of the fight first. See if they can get anything more out of this one. Na'Vi's still time with the idea of getting back in. Pycat's come in with a... Oh, in fact, this could be a huge rotation moving in with the blade field. But no, it looks like VP with the five man. It's just too many for them to go in. Yeah, nice rotation from Lilia coming yeah. in with the flank. Yeah, and just, yeah, just, uh, they know if they can take Dendi out of the fight, suddenly it's much harder for, for Dendi to fight back. Yeah, and that's a big kill on the sniper, too. Top of the net worth. Even though it took all five heroes from Virtus Pro, still very worth it. Yeah. It looks like they're going to lose this tower, anyways, though, because, you know, now it's just them running back to a tower that's at 200 HP. It's not really worth defending at this point, but still a good move from them. Yeah, I should get this tier one. There was a scan as well there from, from Navi to check up that up top. Lil, uh, maybe trying around with the idea to see if he could get the deny out, but doesn't want to risk his life there. I'll get it. Stack starting to be made around this uh, ancient portion. Pasha, a few hundred gold away from having the Midas on the Omni Knight. Uh, still overall, Dendi and Pycat, the top two on the net worth, but it is very, very close indeed at the moment. So we got a, a Midas build coming out from the Omni Knight, which yeah. is pretty standard, right? I mean, that's just how the hero needs to, that's what he needs to transition to even bigger items later on in the game. But um, Troll, not exactly the greatest early game fighter. He's pretty, you know, he wants to farm. Same thing with kind of the Storm Spirit, but Storm Spirit can get more aggressive with the Omni Knight support. So it's going to be interesting to see who makes the moves on uh, VP. Like it might have to be kind of a collective team effort to actually get things done here. Mid lane, Snakeo actually finding an opening to jump in onto Lil here with a hook shot. And Lil, he's out of mana and uh, potentially out of luck. One more record player would do it. And Snakeo's got the kill. Lil taken out, and uh, oh, that's a rage quit. <laughs> oh, no. He was probably having internet issues, I can imagine. At least that's what he's saying to his teammates. He's like, oh, they're like, why did you die, sir? All right, so it's the, the lag. The lag. He's like, Carlo. You know, Sadeko's almost level 7 already in a support clock. Yeah, he's, he's having a great game, Yeah. For a, as you say, for a support. Highest support in the game? Yeah, all the other supports are well, level 4 at the moment. That's, yeah. that's, 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 that's a massive jump. That's ridiculous, really. isn't it? He's basically a core at this he point is, in the game. Yeah, he's certainly scared enough to be there. So, Soneko feeling pretty good about the way that that game's going. And, and uh, yeah, that kill, they're definitely helping out, getting it so long to Lil. But uh, overall, 8 for 5. Now, if we with the lead, Dendi uh, getting the majority of love here. I mean, I can understand the love. He, he's playing Sniper, and he is having an absolute treat in terms of farming. So, it's fair play why, why the percentage actually, is coming there. But he's so close to Shadowblade already, and it's only 11 minutes in 11 the minutes. Uh, with, as, and as we said, with the, that kind of what, double Wraith ban and Aquila. Yeah. He's very, very nice. far. So understandable why he's getting some love from the chat there. Uh, but yeah, as you say, you definitely got to give some love to Soneko as well. Been doing a lot on this clockwork. Yeah. And uh, we we could be getting to a point where Pasha might get some love done as well because he's he's got all the levels on the Omni Knight. He's going to be hitting that Midas. He is going to be absolutely crucial for the team. You know, just stopping. Definitely. Navi running down a. It's uh, kind of uh, awkward though, right? He's strong to fight, but he needs someone else to play off of. And right yeah, now, he Lil's like yeah. level four. Storm Spirit wants to farm, so they're kind of missing that that other tool to help them really start getting in these fights and being strong. Yeah. Yeah, he just needs his team to continue to step up. And of course, Ramsey looking for the Vlads, Pycat, Phase, and straight into Diffusal. Uh, looks to be the build from him this game. Okay, so, so instantly looking for an answer to the to the fact that this Omni is having a great start. Yeah, it's a very, very high damage item. Yeah. yeah great against uh, an Omni lineup, and as you get that GA off, and great against uh, the Storm as well. Just if they get any sort of lockdown, making sure that they cut through it a bit quicker. No one. In and out on the healing ward. Sniping at the ward. It's like 100, it's like 75 gold now, yeah. I think. A little bit counts. Actually, a bit of 75. And now it's time for, uh, this is what Navi, this is what they're waiting for, right? Now it's their super long night time. Yeah. They have tons of time to just apply the pressure, invade the jungle, limit whatever VP can farm. And uh, I mean, they have all the levels they need to do it. Seneco is seven and a half already. Here we go. Ooh, talking about the man though. Just try for the hook shot down to the high ground. And uh, he calls himself out there. Yep, might a little be bit a bit of a tricky shot. Was in the max range, but uh, yeah, it would have been nice. Missed opportunity there, but yeah. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Honestly, they can just walk in, and VP have to just walk away. Yeah, and and then he's really still getting his space down here to uh, have uh, one more creep and uh, the completed shadow blade. VP are going to actually rotate in on him. 
Bifer's there already in sort of a position to block off any sort of movement like this. Yeah, if he can tank the gank, yeah. that would be very, very helpful right now. And that may just be the case. Dendi, let's see if he can try and help him out, but he just hides in the tree line with the Shadow Amulet. No one zips him. We'll take the easier kill. Can they find Dendi? Yeah, that's he's, a... he's hiding. Do they know he's got the amulet? Oh, he's question. gone. He's out of there. Yeah, that doesn't look like they have any detection on them as well. Did Solo? No, there was, there was nothing actually by the looks of it. And that's a five-man smoking for a Jukiro. I mean, they're pretty happy about that one. They did get a nice ward down, though, so at least they got something. Well, we'll see. The question is if Dandy can get some sort of a surprise play with the Shadow Blade. Yeah, this is the point of the game where he's going to be really strong, right? It's hard for Storm to want to carry detection. He wants these small items, bottles, soul ring, yeah. mana boots, even that, you know, he doesn't really want to fight at this stage of the game either. He wants to get to that Bloodstone and get to his next item, so... Navi are looking really strong right now, middle tower especially during the attack. night. There we go, on to the tier one. Let's see what VP want to do in response. Blade Fury is going to be taken by the Rubik. A wrap around for Navi coming around the side. General and Suneko finding Ramsey straight in with the hookshot and the Void. They're blocking him up in the cogs. He's got a full down low for the Repel and the GA comes nice out save. just in time. Pasha backing up the troll, allowing Ramses to get out of there. You're going to see Pycat actually look to commit onto Lil, but the Burrow strikes out. They've got the assassinates. Not needed, though. Pycat takes him down with a quick crit. So they don't get the troll, but at the end of the day, that sort of wraparound coming from the two of them ends up just sort of pulling at VP apart and away from the tier one. So at the end of the day, they, they still got what they came for, this tier one tower on the bottom lane. Yeah, exactly. Can't be too upset about that. They claim the objective. That's pretty much why they were there. Any kills after that's just the bonus? Oh, no. Oh. Look, talking about bonus kills here. Straight in on the middle, playing around the night vision. General able to get in with the silence, and Dendi in position with the Shadow Blade. Talked about Storm being pretty good against Sniper, but Night Stalker with that long yeah. silence during the night, very, very good against Storm Spirit. I mean, to the point that, I mean, I, I guess what you can you can try and rely on Pasha being near with the Repel, or, I mean, do you feel he has to kind of go Bloodstone straight into some sort of Yule, some sort of way to deal with that silence on the Storm? Um, or could you could you just try and play around and, and make sure that you have the vision and you don't allow him to close that gap? When it gets to like that later part of the game, the silence isn't going to matter too much when okay. he's actually grouped up. But for now, he wants to be farming. And uh, he doesn't really want to rush that Yule Scepter because it still won't help him enough. He wants that Bloodstone so we can get his farm on for the next, you know, 15 minutes of the game. Mm -hmm. Just sit in the jungle, sit nice and safe. And then afterwards, he can deal with the silence. But for now, it's kind of his window where he's pretty dangerous. He's exposed to these ganks from Night Stalker. And perhaps he should go for the Yules because his jungle is getting invaded right now. Night Stalker can just do as he pleases, run anywhere he wants. And again, it's combo. The General and Dondi, uh, yeah. Wombo. If they can close that gap onto Ramses, and uh, well, with that initial slow there from the headshot, that will allow them to get. He's going to try for the TP out. They'll look for the assassinate. Ooh, oh no! Does so it connect? Close. He can't get it out in time. Cast that mission too long. That's a tricky one. You have to kind of start it before the TP even comes out, but you yeah. don't really want to do that because you want to lay into him with the damage. So, you know, Ramses makes it out, but still, they're grouped up in the top lane. Oh, and then getting gone on here by oh, Pike about the General's again. reactions. Very nice, that quick TP, and ooh, oh, no one got a little annoyed by that. The spam ping is coming out in general. That was like two seconds before daytime, too, when the silence came out. Oh, it almost was not long enough. Yeah, rough game for Storm right now. And, you know, and a great game for General. He's pretty yeah. much got the money for that Midas now, thanks to the uh, involvement that he's had in these kills. In top lane, well, with this tower, he'll certainly have the gold for it. Suneko, Pfeiffer, and Dendi pushing in. Navi getting a lot of uh, objectives outside the map. At the same time, down bottom, Pasha was continuing to try and go for some sort of uh, split push pressure. As he, uh, on top of the Midas now, working into that mech. How close is uh, Lil to his Blink Dagger? Because I feel like DP really, really needs some sort of big item, you know, to start yeah. these team fights. He's pretty close, so once they get that, perhaps they can start making some more aggressive plays here. Yeah, they, they definitely need more ways to try and get that jump on the sniper. Yeah, Storm definitely is not the one to be doing any jumping no. at this stage of the game. He yeah. probably, he just wants to farm. Yeah, if, if he goes in on that sniper at this stage, you know, he's going to take a silence or an ice path to the face or a hook shot, and the turnaround will be there. He may get the sniper, but he's going to lose his life for it. The sniper can probably just man up and hit him and kill yeah. him faster. That's true, actually. Yeah, with the amount of damage done he's got. Uh, what's he doing after the Shadow Blade, actually? Is it just going to be the Dragon Lance? Uh, actually, okay. Going Full out damage. I yeah. love it. Shadow Blade Maelstrom. They're going to have so much damage with the Sniper's level of farm right now and Juggernaut's Diffusal Blade. Is Maelstrom so definitely the way uh, when there is an Omni on the other side? 
It's still good because it yeah. accelerates your farm. Sniper doesn't okay. farm that fast without using shrapnel all the time, so I mean, it's still a good damage efficient or cost efficient item for the damage. Yeah. So. Looks good. Snakeo almost had his four staff already on his support clock, looking pretty good. I mean, he looks like a core at this stage of the game, right? Two levels above every other support in the game. Well, he's like he's like in the middle. He's like the three yeah, and a half kind of. Yeah, he is. He's, as you say, yeah, he's keeping himself ahead of all the other supports in the game. That as Bottom lane, Pie Cap very close to having the mantle. Did actually change it up. We, okay, we saw him no only going for the defusal, but he's playing it a bit safer. Stupendous. Oh, Manta still very very good on Juggernaut. Yep. Yeah, for sure. I mean, at, at this point as well, I, I, it feels like maybe he sees that Denji's having such a good time with the damage, and he's like, well, I've just got to keep, got to keep myself alive in these fights. And uh, as long as Denji's, you know, been able to be kept on the back lines, the damage is going to be there from the sniper. Yeah, Bloodstone picked up on Storm. He has three deaths to his name, but he still gets the Bloodstone at 18 and a half minutes. Not bad at all. Yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, no one, yeah, as we've seen, is very good at this. Despite sometimes having a, a bad uh, kind of, uh, you know, phase after the initial laning stage, you can still pick up the farm at a rate that keeps him, as, uh, as because he's very close to that of the others. He, he's about, is about 1k behind Dendi, but that's of course Dendi and Na'Vi getting the objectives, getting the towers. Continuing to get the kills. Ooh, trying for hook shot again. Snake with just a little bit off the mark there. Very close to getting Ramses. But he did have the back of Bapasha anyway, so even if it connected, uh, may have ended up turning badly for Na'Vi. Yeah, I think Lil has his blink dagger now. He's yes, got he it. does. And they're smoked yep. up looking for something right now. This could be huge for VP. Can this is what they've been the waiting jump? for. It depends how Na'Vi reacts to this in the middle lane. Are they going to be baited in by Ramses? Will they come in for the defense? Seneca's already there. Of course, they no hookshot for 40 seconds. Up. You know, Troll doesn't casually just walk up to your tower and they've been losing the entire game. I, I, Navi think he might be. They're, they're going to go in on this one. And you've got the wraparound. Here comes the epicenter. Jump forward from Lil. Comes in with the power strike. But the healing ward is already out. The Blade Fury reaction is there from Pycat on the sideline. Solo steals the Blade Fury, trying to get himself away. But Dendi, he's just peeping him away. He'll take down one. No one. Zips up to the high ground. Keeping the vision here with the shrapnel. Mill. Pycat as well. Heading straight across. Jumps forward. And with the. Uh, uh, it just slashes him to pieces. And with an assassinate onto no one. No one's in trouble as well. He'll get to the shrine. Well, he's very on the mana. Too. But the silence is there. Pycat continuing with the run down. They have the Void, the Blade Fury. He is going to be able to zip a little bit out. And then Pasha coming in just in time will be enough to save no one for now. Oh, They're I say that. Done. No, Seneco, he's got the hook shot back up. And no one will still survive. Rappel and the Ball Lightning enough to get him up to the high ground. But as we can see, well, Seneco may be in trouble here. Dragged over to the wrong side of the cogs. But yeah, he's too, too tanky. He has the four stars still available as well. Yeah, now it's four minutes of nighttime with no epicenter. I don't know how yeah. they can defend anything right now. Yeah, then, I mean, we saw there that fight just... They had the right idea coming with the wraparound, but even with the blink dagger, it's not like they could do but huge amounts of damage. Yeah, Navi were definitely ready for it. Yeah. You know, they spread out pretty well. Healing Ward was already down. Pycat had his spin going before Lil yeah. even came in. So. Healing Ward already out. Yeah, they knew it was coming, and they prepared well for it. Well... VP do have Roshan as something that can potentially bring them back into the sure. control warlord very strong, but as I say that, Navi are already looking at it. And in position to protect it as well, General and Seneco. Not afraid at all to just man control out of the pit. They did have the stolen rocket flare to scout it out there. So VP know what's up. They are going to make a beeline straight forward. They will catch the clock on the front lines here with the telekinesis and the purification pond. That's going to be Seneco down. That's take down one. Spurt around the pit. I mean, this is a hero that's very, very good at stealing Aegis, so... Yeah, that Roshan is very low at the moment as well. So both teams very much on edge. How this long? How to the epicenter? It's got to still be quite a while, isn't it, for Lil? Oh, no, it's, it's there. Just Sorry. up right now. It's, it's back. Perfect. And just that kill gives VP the confidence to walk yeah. in the pit like that. And can Na'Vi stop this? I mean, they'll lay down the offer of the Jikiro. Pycat tries to come forward, but he gets burrow striked immediately into the Telekinesis. He'll do, still get the chance with Blade goes in towards the pit, Roshan down, oh, and Pycat snatches the Aegis. He's going to have Omni Slash available again. He jumps out of the Blade Fury with the Omni Slash, but the Gia comes through. Seneco shoots across with the hookshot, forces himself forward, traps Pasha in the cogs, the Ice Path to follow up. General lays down the Silence onto the Omni Knight, and Pasha, all he can do is run. And I'll get bursted down there by the Rocket Flare and the Void for General. They'll take the Omni Knight. The rest of VP are able to escape. And they may have got Roshan, but not getting the Aegis and not winning the fight. That's crazy that only Ramses died in that fight. Yeah. It After been a all the exchanges, I really thought there would be much more blood there, but Pycat with the nice stealer just casually spins in and walks in, and Ramses is in some trouble here. Does have the Manta, though, to keep himself safe. 
just gets uh, to cut out here by, by General. And one again with a well played. Pasha trying to add a bit of humor to the situation for VP. Look at that. No one's keeping spirits up. Well played teammate. Doing all right. That's what it's all about. I wonder if that line has ever been used unironically. It was right there. Oh, there we go. Positive, I positive hope. mental attitude from VP. Yep. I like it. No toxicity. And here we have Dendi going for uh, the four staff and so uh, the imminent uh, hurricane pike next on his build. So Pike did lose the Aegis in that fight. So I mean, he did lose the Aegis. All in all, it looked like VP would have had a really, really hard time contesting that Aegis in like a normal circumstance, right? So it's so not, the, yeah, not so that bad. the fact that they got the kill. Yeah, yes. yeah. At least Aegis is out of the game for now. So I mean, Troll is still farming ridiculously well, and no one is catching up now too. I mean, he looks like he's doing fine. Yeah. Yeah, this storm is getting bigger and bigger. As the Bloodstone charges, Orchid very shortly round the corner. We also haven't seen like a real team fight where Storm is repelled, jumps no. the sniper. He's almost at the Orchid now too, so he's gonna have tons of damage. I mean, VP looked like they pretty much pulled it back in those last two minutes where it looked like it was a pretty bad situation. No Epi, just her nighttime. Navi doing Roshan. Yeah, they definitely got the tools to take a good fight. There's no doubt about that. And some pressure on this tier two down bottom. Do scan out the presence of Navi behind it and we'll back away. Pasha's got the Greaves complete. So uh, definitely something that's going to be huge. We saw in that last fight him uh, being very much limited by the, the fact that the general just made a beeline straight for him with the crippling fit. Yeah, he's got a lot yeah, of things nice to up. watch out for these fights, right? He's yeah. not mobile at all, so if he gets hooked into a silence, he's not just going to get anything off at all. But now he has something to deal with that at least. Uh, only 500 from Orchid right now. This is looking pretty scary. It really is. I mean, as you say, if he's propelled up straight in, Orchid get that extra damage on the sniper. He's got a good shot of bringing down Dendi. We need to have the detection there, of course. Oh, Seneco. He's, oh, he's got it in for the neutral creeps. We'll still manage to get the slide across and with the ice path into the cogs. They have trapped him down. Oh, the Greaves are on cooldown. Oh, yeah, he must have just popped them a bit earlier. Yep. Only just a bit earlier. There was still like, 33 seconds cooldown, so it must have been pretty recently just popped them for the casual heal. There. I must have just come out before. Yeah. Meanwhile, Rams is farming, and now it's daytime. So, Night Stalker's a weird hero. You know, during the nighttime, he feels super strong, but that's only, you know, it's only part of the game. On top of that, a little bit of a lacking of catch with the uh, hook shot still unavailable. But at the least, just trying to bully no one back. In the way. That's the scare factor, right? Yeah. You, you just turn up and. You know, he asked a question. He's like, do they have ways of catching me? Or do I need to get the hell out of him? You never know. A random ice path to come over the trees, and then all of a sudden, bad things happen. It's not about bad things for the storm. It's the, uh, what's, the, what's the state? It's on the jug now. Pike out. You know, top of the net worth. Manta diffusal complete. Him and Dendi very much ready to go. Dendi getting the uh, four star shipped out to it. Ready and complete. So a little trickier to catch out. And even if the storm does zip up on him, he's still got ways to try and play himself around it and get the distance between the two of them. You know, Dendi was pretty much at the top of the network mm -hmm. at some point in this game. Well, probably for the majority of this game, right? But once Storm started getting some more items, some more farm up, Sanking had that blink dagger and he showed in his fights, his farm space has been kind of limited. You know, he slowed down a little bit, but I mean, he still looks pretty good right now. But it wasn't anywhere near as much as he was farming before. And that's no. just the nature of, you know, Sand King gets Blink Dagger. He's always off the map. Storm Spirit, same thing. So perhaps they need uh, something in this game to kind of give more space. You know, maybe a gem on the Night Stalker, perhaps, to help control the vision. Nah, oh, he's got it. Oh, he's bang got on. it. Yeah, there we go. So he's got his answer. General and will be zipped upon straight away. No one, not to stick around though. A little All bit right. worried of a reaction coming in from Navi. Yep, trying to create some space, hopefully force some TPs out, but there's no TPs. They're not afraid. Mid lane, Seneco. This time we'll find the connection with the hook shot. Not going to see the jump forward with the Omni Slash, but Ramses able to get himself away as repels there from Pasha. 
Jump for now for Lil, looking to react as they get the stun in with the force back there from Soneko, trying to get also the jump back to safety. Too. The ice path comes through as well, but it's not enough. High cat's down. Huge ult though from Biver here, breaking VP apart. They have to be careful how they continue to chase this down. They'll look towards Soneko with the purification damage, zip forward, but he gets held back. No one in the ice path. Soneko, they're trying to save him. They're going to be unsuccessful though, as no one finds a double kill. Great fight for VP. A couple more charges into the Bloodstone. So 15 now. Yeah, what a recovery from no one. Yeah. Storm Spirit, I know he's not top net worth or anything like that, but he feels like he's one close. of those heroes, you know, when he picks up these items, he just starts to get out of control real quick, especially with the Omni on his team. Radiant structures are fortified. There we have it. No one looking Radiant for the tower in the middle lane. Right, Don't do anything about over. this. Over they go, over the trees. There's the silence, but Pash is there with the repel, and now no one just turns straight towards General, and in fact, may just get the killer. He's going to dig down low, and he's going to take is it. Is that the gem too? Oh, they're trying to get it picked up. They are trying to get it picked up. Did they get it? Yes, it's on Pasha. Oh, no. Pasha's managed to reclaim it. Solo, Blade Fury away from a Blade Fury and Pycat. And now opening up with the Diffuser Blade. Solo will almost certainly fall as Pycat's able to chase him down. No one ready to go back in though. The Mantis already being used by Pycat here. So the silence is successful, bringing him down low, but the mech comes through from Na'Vi. They'll keep Pycat alive. Now turning towards Pasha with the Blade Fury. They chase him down, pick up the double kill, but Lil comes in on the back lines with the epicenter. Na'Vi forced back up to the high ground. No one is out of mana though. So can't chase down Dendi. Dendi and Pycat realize this. They're going to go straight oh, back Ramses in onto down the bottom, storm without the any mana, and no one's going going to kill himself. Yeah, what's going on bottom? What is happening on the bottom lane? That's a melee rax already. Oh my goodness. What just oh, happened? Na'Vi just got trolled. <laughs> Troll killed Clockwork at the tier 3 and took the base within like 15 seconds. Yes. Oh that mid God. fight was not worth the Na'Vi. They may have killed, well they didn't even kill the Storm. He got the deny out. Losing a rax like that. Oh dear. Well, at least the gem was recovered, so they can try to keep yeah. some sort of map control going here. But losing that Rax at this stage of the game is not good. I mean, yeah, it is. Oh, hello. Hello. Long job. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Very close to actually catching PyCat there. Hey, the, oh, uh, he may oh, die for no. that. Uh, he is definitely dead for he that. He is very dead. Uh, uh, that uh, is what we call the tilter. Well, at least he's got Ramses on his team to pull him through these troubling times. That is true. Yeah. Mr. 666 himself. Yeah. He's getting the racks, and uh, no one is uh, zipping halfway across the map to his death. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I like the ambition there, you know. If, if he hit someone, he would have killed him. Those but, are big uh, plays, though, right? If he, he didn't, he didn't really jump. plan the escape route, did he? No, no, no. no. There, there was no escape. He was in. Yes. But, you know, it would have been pretty cool if he did hit PyCat with the ball lightning damage. It would pretty much one-shot him at that stage. Half of old then he's in some big oh, trouble he's here. In absolutely massive trouble. Oh, they've got the stolen assassinate there. Beautifully done. And, oh, okay, he's going to be safe. So Dendi will survive. They didn't quite have enough of a burst. He nearly finds the courier. He won't get it. The assassinate will be there onto Lil. Lil. It's going to have Blink again in a second. Shrapnel. Hey. Or did he cancel his TP? canceled his TP. I guess he was worried about Biva landing the ice path, and uh, indeed it, it did happen. Biva throws it down. I guess this round will have vision of him TPing, so I knew that and Biva meanwhile, would find it. Ramses is taking more towers, apparently. Good old Ramses. You don't see him, but he's winning the game. Yeah, the boy done good. BKB's now done for him as well. It's getting pretty scary. Na'Vi, though, into the pit. Pike out with the DD. And get this Roshan. And okay, so they secure Roshan he gets, yeah, he just, yeah. safely this time, and that's Cheese as well, second Roshan. Yep. Alrighty, so Na'Vi, I mean, they want to go for these pushes, but they, they, they've just got to be a get, I mean, Ramsey's. <laughs> this guy has a problem right now, especially with that newly picked up BKB. He's just not seen a hero in years. He's just going around the map doing what he wants. He's been playing his own game for yeah. sure, and it's working out. And uh, he says, all right, I'll go back in. Fortification's gone. So, uh, I mean, with the, well, the two ones already gone, so that's the fortification essentially, you know, gone, wasted for yeah. uh, a failed attempt at defending nothing. Very, very dangerous now. Yeah. VP, no. They're like, all right, we'll, we'll get ready to go down mid. Ramses, you seem to be knowing how to win the game of Dota. We're going to join you. That's right. No more long jumps across the map. It's time to play the game. Let's see what now we can do to, to try and put a stop to this. So they do have a lot of farm on their cores on the, I mean, the sniper they do. and so the Dendi, yeah. yeah, very farm. Even I, general. I mean, Dendi's falling behind a little bit. As you said, uh, you know, he's kind of the, just the farm pace. He's he's not really been able to entirely keep up. Uh, right, but yeah, but Pie Cap for sure. Is, he does have the Aegis now, so 
it's a bit scarier for them to just dive past everything to try to tunnel vision on this guy, but as I said, like, he might be. All right, he's okay. Yeah, just, is that the, uh, has he got the completed Hurricane Park in the car? Yeah. He does. Okay, there we go. So that'll definitely help him keep out of yeah. danger here. Push the troll back, push the Stormfield away. And uh, I feel like Solar Crest is probably the biggest item that'll kind of help Dendi survive. Nothing he really builds at this point is going to help him too much, but if Seneco can get that Solar Crest up, but he's not really farming. You know, he's a clockwork. He runs oh. around looking for kills like this. And look who it is. Oh, I see. Well, okay, no, it looks like they've got enough stun. No, the BKB. He comes out. No one's picked it up. It's now he's turning BKB. around. There he goes, straight in. I, that, I don't think they expected that one, Na'Vi. And no one, he's found one. He's going to look to zip forward on Snaco. The BKB now wearing off. He's looking to chase down more. Gets the slow onto the clockwork. And that's going to be another one there for VP. No one. They... He baited the baiters there. They were ready waiting for him to TP in. And he says, I got a BKB. He's the master. <laughs> I don't think they expected that BKB at all. No, not at all. No. Nah. They thought they had one clean, but unfortunate. Sometimes that happens. And uh, they may get another here. Yeah, Bivis getting surrounded. Ramsey's into to joining the action. And a third pickup for VP. That's surprise BKB. There we have it. No one uh, playing playing the long con there with that initial sit down bottom. He's like, hey, look at me. And then he comes back later like, ha ha, I am the the smart one. That's the, the false hope. It is. You know? It's like, I'm playing like a madman. And then, <laughs> bam, he uh, comes out with the next level item builds. It's all strategic. But at least Navi, PyCat didn't manage to get off the cheese in that fight. So they still have cheese and the ages for some time. Mm -hmm. But uh, their buildings are dying. Ah, I mean, I, what's the planet for Na'Vi? They've got to do something about this. I mean, Ramses has just been allowed to get so far ahead. Well, they had a plan there, right? They were looking for someone to gank in the nighttime, and they found Stormsphere, <laughs> but just didn't work out. He had the BKB, the turned BKB. around, and just killed him. Perhaps they need someone else for... I mean, that's all their disables, right? That was the cogs into the hook, into the ice path. Oh, this could get even messier as well. They're coming around, and they've got the DD on Ramses. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, he is a goner. Straight in they go. The damage is more than there, and that's PyCat down for 70 seconds. Mass BKB's out, and they zip forward. Look at the clock. Yeah, he's not going to hold back, no one. He goes up to the high ground, make sure that they get Seneco as well. Double kill for no one. And in the middle, can they save the Sand King? Denny's trying to beat upon him, but Ramsey just goes straight to the back lines, finds the sniper, takes the Aegis out of Dendi's hands. And VP coming in thick and fast here, and Na'Vi just can't stop them. They've got the control solo with the stolen Ice Path laid down as well. Some Ice Path onto Ice Path action. As I think this game may just be over. VP yeah. have just come in. They've gone crazy. The BKPs are out. Ramsey's had an, in an entirely free game. And it's too much. And we're, we're at that point, as you, you kind of anticipated earlier, saying, that you, Sniper, it, it's nice if you have a great start, but it's not nice 30 minutes in when you've got all these heroes that jump straight onto you and, and yeah. pull you to pieces. Sniper, very good against the troll, but mm -hmm. then out comes Storm and Omni Knight, and you're just left to deal with this guy on your own. It just yeah. doesn't work out for Sniper at all. Even with Dendi's fantastic start in this game, you know, uh, DP made quite a swift comeback. We blinked, and then Bottom Racks was just gone. It was. Well, mid lane fight was a, a long and a little painful for VP in terms of people dying, but yeah, they, they just had the long game planned out. Ramses knew what to do. He did not want to waste any of his time fighting with the rest of them. Yep, and, looks uh, like Navi aren't quite out yet. Though. No, they're staying. Uh, Seneco says, you want another kill, no one? I'll give it to you. And, nice guy. Uh, ooh, the shrine, actually enough to keep him alive. All right, shrine, healing water, mech, all adds up. Seneco will survive. 15k gold lead, two sets of racks down. Na'Vi are certainly going to struggle. We saw, you know, it started to slowly go Na'Vi's way, but then, whoom. Yeah. Suddenly they were uh, given that painful reminder that Ramses was in the game. That's right. They were looking pretty good when the game was 4v5, yep. and then a new player joined. Ramses is in, he's, I believe, well, yeah, just open up him away from the uh, completed uh, Scardi. Yeah. I know, like, yeah, that's just the uh, the nature of Sniper sometimes, right? Some yeah. games he looks great. He has this game where he's actually safe to just sit in the back and hit everyone. But this game, man, fantastic early game. And then Storm finally just farms some items. And then he gets jumped on by Storm in the same game and can't even attack yeah. in any of these fights. Nice pickup, though, for General. The uh, the Halberds, uh, Heaven's Halberds, certainly an item that could do something in this game. Yeah, yeah. definitely.
Stopping that troll and storm, you know, beating down upon you. Yep, Halberd no longer dispellable by anything, so he, perhaps he can get it off early. Is it even dispellable by death? If no. you die and then buy back, is it still on you? I know in the past they used to have stuff like that once down. I imagine it's not. I mean, you never it's know. Probably it. not you like never know that, it, Maybe we'll find out one day. Oh, let's see. Anyone wants to buy back TP's in? How long does it last nowadays as well, the, the design? I think it's different for melee and agility heroes. I'm not entirely sure on the numbers, but it's like three or four seconds somewhere okay. around there. What we got? Oh, that's a long, that's a lot of reading. That is, I don't oh, know where to look. Disarm, yeah, you're right. Disarm range duration 5.5 and disarm melee three seconds. Okay. So yeah, you, uh, well, it's just two, two melee really. So it's the, it's the three seconds we're, we're worrying about this game. Oh no, wait, no, Storm Ice. Sorry, yeah, Storm range. Storm 5.5 yeah. 5 seconds disarm on Storm. All right, there you go. There you go. It certainly could be nice. But uh, VP, uh, we'll see if it does anything as uh, VP are ready to come down another lane up top. Bringing the creep wave round onto the tier two. But now, nah, oh. Yep, it's the smoke This could around. be the last ditch play. The bit of a smoke out, leave the base, look for the wraparound. Radiance top I mean, has uh, we'll see if they can get anything out of this. They, they don't really have an insane team fight, really. That's the problem. It's, it's just the Jakiro, really. They, the rest of sort of just pick off. I mean, who are they going to go for? Yeah. It's Storm hard. looks so hard to kill. Here we go. Okay, Pretty so they're ominous. jumping onto Pasha. Hook shots there from Seneca. Wood trap rampage in the cogs, but the GA just comes out. No one just turns straight towards the Jakira, and that's going to be Jakira down. Lil comes in with a burrow strike onto Dandy, who's trying to get himself away with the Shadow Blade, but the sentry's down on the high ground, and it, it was just a smoke into what, really? There was just, what are you going to do? Yeah, I mean, it was a good attempt, and it's the right idea, especially that part of the game, but they're just too yeah. far behind, and good game's called. Absolutely. And there we have it. Oh, Pasha dropping oh, the disaster. all chat. It's a disaster. Damn, son. I love it. Well, there we have it. VP, 23 to 19, taking the game. And uh, unfortunately, the Dondo Sniper, as, as excited as I was to see it, it's, it's just a hard hero to win games with. Yeah, definitely. Perhaps it was taken a bit too early in the draft. It was, where... what, 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 what kind of pick was it? It was like... I think it was fourth. Third or fourth, yeah. It, it wasn't but, right uh... at the end, yeah. It was fourth, but um, VP still had another pick because they picked the um, Omni Knight. Yeah, I want to believe in that stage, and then they picked uh, Storm last. Okay. Yeah, so I think I think right. But uh, I'm not just talking. I could be totally wrong. Yeah. No, the, uh, I don't, I feel like we may not see the sniper again, As, especially against VP's lineup. Maybe maybe in another series, but against VP, VP are just so over overly aggressive, and they're so good on these heroes like like the yeah. troll and the storm. And uh, yeah, I I don't think we'll see Navi let let themselves lose the racks just like that again. That was. Yeah, Troll takes that the base was, ridiculously yeah. fast. Do you think they want to play against Troll again? That didn't look fun. I think they might ban it. As we, they were saying on the panel, we have seen it banned out in numerous other series already today. And uh, VP are very good with Ramsey's incredibly talented.